Hey guys, it's Mina. So today we're making some vegan waffles. This is a revisited recipe that I've updated and I really like, so I hope you're gonna enjoy too. Okay, so let's get started. As always, mix together all of your dry ingredients. So in this case, it's some spilt or all-purpose flour, some baking powder, two teaspoons of either corn or potato starch. Also add in a pinch of salt and a few tablespoons of raw sugar. As for the wet ingredients, you'll just need some plant milk, unsweetened applesauce, Lastly, add in a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar or lemon juice and also a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And just mix it all together, you guessed it, pour the wet ingredients into the dry ones. And you got your basic waffle batter. Now heat up a waffle iron. I'm using the most basic waffle iron there is. There's no settings or anything. One thing that's really important is to grease your waffle iron. Mine says that it is non-stick, but it is not non-stick. So make sure to grease both sides well with either vegan butter or coconut oil. And this recipe is enough for about four to six waffles. Depending on the size, you can easily double or triple the amount of batter you make. And that's it, really. I also blended up some frozen bananas to make some frozen banana, obviously frozen, <laughs> to make some banana ice cream for the topping. Then I topped it also off with some frozen raspberries and of course, the maple syrup. Now this is the basic waffle batter recipe. You can do with that whatever you want really. For instance, you could add a half a teaspoon of orange zest and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon to get a super simple wintry flavor into your waffles. Now I do have quite a few vegan breakfast and brunch related recipes on my channel already. Recently I made a video on savory breakfast ideas including savory oatmeal. So if you haven't seen that yet, you can check it out right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!